Welcome to part three of our Mondrian inspired geometric artwork. Uh, today's the day to color. Uh, before you start coloring, the first thing you need to make sure you do is erase all of the numbers from the spaces. We don't want them to show up underneath the colors when the artwork is complete. Another challenge for this final step in the process is selecting colors that are going to allow each group to stand out for themselves. To make it even more challenging, you might also try to pick colors that are still unified with each other so that each group is separate, but the entire artwork works together as a whole. Neatness is gonna be very important in the coloring of this artwork. The neater you can be when you're coloring it is gonna greatly affect how successful the end product is. This is group one completed. You can see that all three shapes in the group use the exact same colors. They're not in the same order, but they're the exact same group of colors. For my second group of colors, you can see that I used one color that was the same so that these two different groups still work together a little bit, but then I incorporated two new colors into the pattern. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the third group so that even though all three patterns are different because they have different colors, they still have something in common with each other, which is gonna help them work together as one artwork. I put one final touch. I used a dark blue marker to trace all of the shapes and the patterns so that I could clean up the edges of everywhere that I colored. Now that everything's colored, you can also see that I chose to use colors that are all within the yellow, green, blue area of the color wheel. That's called an analogous color scheme. An analogous color scheme is when you choose colors that are close together on the color wheel because they work together a little bit better than using random colors. So there you have it, our Mondrian inspired artwork that incorporates patterns into the shapes. Remember, there are literally millions of different ways that this activity could have ended up. Tons of different color choices, tons of different ways that the shapes could have been arranged so many different patterns that could have been included inside the shapes. Even though we've done one, there are many, many different options that still exist if you decided to do this activity again. So I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next week. Bye.